Welcome to another episode of Wine Still of the Week, where I go find a bottle that is under $20 that's punching above its weight class. Hey, hey, what up, y'all? We're back for another one, and uh, I can't wait to get into the wine today. I hope everybody's having a wonderful week. Uh, to me, it has been a very, very long week. Um... Not bad, but long. We have Salesforce in San Francisco, so it's been really, really busy uh, at Eno. And so I've been dealing with a lot of that, trying to get some editing done on a couple projects, uh, and just staying busy. As a matter of fact, after this, i got some more work to do. But, of course, I wanted to bring you guys a video uh, for our Wine Still of the Week segment that we do every week on Fridays. We release on Fridays, and it's for uh, bottles under $20 that's punched above its weight class, just so you know. Um... Other than that, we're not going to waste too much time today. We're going to get right into it because, again, I have to work later. <laughs> so let's get right into this. As you see, it's rosé. The bottle we're dealing with, we're in one of my favorite areas in California, which I probably should go into a little bit more, but um, as far as, like, uh, reviewing wine from there. But, um, you know, we're going to do one today. We're in Mendocino County. This is Skid Rosé 2020. Uh, this is out of the Saracena um, Vineyards. There you go, Skid Rosé. And I love Mendocino. This is actually a Rosé of Malbec. So that's an interesting one to come out of uh, Mendocino. Uh, let's see how it's doing. Uh, on the nose. So I'm getting like watermelon rind. I'm getting like this um, kind of uh, grapefruit thing going on here. Red grapefruit with a little bit of like a salty sea... sea um, what is this, sea air uh, aroma or smell coming out the glass. I'm also getting like under underripe white strawberries going on here too. There's also a bit of like a white pepper going on here too, which is interesting, didn't expect that. And also some raspberry. Let's go ahead and taste and see what's going on in the palate. It's good. Talk about structure first on this rosé. So uh, I will say medium, uh, kind of bordering the medium plus on the acid. The acid, the acid is decent here, not bad at all. It actually uh, pulls away some of the richness of the fruit up front. Um, great mouthfeel, great texture. Pretty long, pretty long finish here. Yeah, definitely getting that kind of rich raspberry up front. It does get to a little bit of a strawberry thing, but again. It is a, like a greenness, like white strawberry, like an underripe white, ripe, uh, sorry, underripe white strawberry here. Um, definitely great minerality on the finish. I'm digging that. Um, there's also like a spritz of like a lemon lime in the third quarter to the finish here too. There's also like a, a kind of a fleshy peach up front that I'm catching out on the palate, which is delicious. This is a good wine. This is, uh, wow. This is a really, really good wine. Um, nice little Porsche powder. I think this is the current vintage, even though it's 2020. I think this is current vintage. I didn't, I was online. I was looking for like a 2021 to see if they had something, but I didn't see anything. Um, yeah, I like this wine quite a bit. De definitely a porch powder here on a hot day at the beach. This is where you want to go. Uh, if, like for uh, something to appease your palate, appease your palate. Uh, very delicious, guys. Um, I would rate this probably. I'm gonna go say I'm gonna say 87 plus, uh, 88 on a good day. Um, yeah, I, I dig it. I dig it quite a bit, and I will buy more of this wine. Um, wine still of the week. We'll be right back. Hello. I am Jayton Gunter, sommelier and wine lover, and I'm back doing events. So whether you were a corporation or a private wine event planner, hit me up, DM me, and I will send you my pricing. Cheers. Now back to the show. Yeah, okay, yeah, you can find this. This is a, a, the still for this. I was a little lazy, guys. I'm sorry, I didn't get a chance. I told you it's been a busy weekend. And um, I, I just, I went to other places, but the only... This is the only wine that I was kind of curious about. Uh, this was at Grocery Outlet. I got it for um, $6. So definitely punching way above his weight class on this wine. And um, 
yeah, I hope everybody's having a wonderful week. Uh, a couple things going on soon that I will be uh, making you aware of. Uh, definitely, uh, if you don't know, on the 12th of next month, on October, we are doing a book signing for uh, It's a Vibe, me and... Um, me and Armando, and uh, we'll be having, it's going to be at the Cigar Bar, so if you're into cigars, if you're into wine, if you're into food, come through, kick it with us, uh, have conversations, we'll enjoy uh, talking about everything that's went into making this book, and also sign you a copy. Uh, it's a good time to get both of us in the same room, because it's very hard, he, we're, he's busy, I'm busy, so this will be a good time to kind of catch us and have a good time with us, so anyway, come and join us on the 12th of uh, October. Other than that, guys, uh, my question of the day is this. We're talking about rosé here. What is your, where is your favorite rosé, where does your favorite rosé come from? And I'm talking about all over the world. We have Provence, we have California. Of course, there's some stuff in uh, New Zealand. I mean, it's everywhere. You, anywhere you think about wine, there's rosés there. South Africa, all that stuff. So, where does your favorite rosés come from in the world? I would love to know so I can go find some and sip it. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week again. And um, guys, um, hit me up if, if you have any questions about any wine stuff. It's been a while since I've uh, thrown that out to you guys. I'm always here to help. Uh, Till next time, cheers.